Hi everybody, how's it going? So I went to the grocery store the other day and saw a big bag of puff wheat and immediately said, you know what? I feel like it's like summer's coming, the nice weather's coming. So I really wanted to make some puff wheat squares. So that's what I'm going to make for you guys today. So I am going to use our stack cooker and I love, love, love the stack cooker because it cooks, it stack cooks food and full meals or desserts or whatever you're wanting to make in the microwave in a fraction of the time that it takes to bake up in the oven. And it tastes just as good. So um, while I'm going to prep the, um, the puff wheat in the three quart base of the stack cooker, I will talk about the benefits of the stack cooker. So first let's get our ingredients prepped. So we have a half a cup of margarine in here, and then a half a cup of corn syrup. And I know that there are like tons of different recipes for, for puff wheat. Um, I'd love to know what your secret ingredient is. If I did and had um, some marshmallows, one of my aunts told me, slip in a couple little marshmallows in there, Ernesta, and it'll make your puff wheat gooey and actually stick together and not crumble, right? So she kind of gave me that tip. I wish I had um, a couple little mini marshmallows because I would definitely um, add them to this. So I have in the Modular Mate Rectangular number two, our brown sugar. I don't really sure. bake, atta, atta, atta. I don't really bake um, too much with brown sugar. So I love that, like look at this, that my brown sugar is still like super moist and I don't have to add like an extra, like a piece of stale bread in there or an apple core or whatever your tricks are. Um, I don't need to, <clears throat> to do any of that. I just simply keep it in my modular mate and um, it stays nice and fresh. Oh, that's it. Um, for months, you guys, months. Same thing goes for your marshmallows. Brown sugar and marshmallows will thank you if you get those modular mates. So I'm just going to mix this up just a little bit and then I'm going to put it into the microwave for, I'll do about a minute and a half and then I'll stir it and then we'll see if it's bubbled up a little bit and it'll be ready to go. And we're going to put this inside of here. <laughs> yeah, we'll put vanilla after. So the stack cooker, I use the base. What um, what you can do with the stack cooker is that you can stack cook. So if you'd have that base, usually I would put like a starch in the bottom so you could do your potatoes or your rice or your noodles, add some water to it, and then you would put this, I think it's a, what is it? One and three quarter quart um, casserole inside of that one. In this one, I would put my protein. So you could put your fish or your, your um, chicken or pork whatever you want i usually add <laughs> i usually add a little sauce to it super super easy you guys and you put it in raw it can all go in raw and then what you can do is put the cover inverted like this so not not this way but inverted like this and then you can cook your veggies right on the top it can either be frozen or fresh, add a little teensy bits of, of water on there just to add a little bit of hydration to them. And you cook it in there for about 20 minutes and then your full cooked meal is done, hands-free, no splashes of oil or anything on your stove. So I really, really love this stack cooker because it not only saves me time, but um, saves me a lot of mess. To clean up because everything's used all in one and it all goes in the dishwasher you guys oh let's check it out some of your own tape let's take it out we'll give it a little bit of a mix oh it's looking good it's all pretty much melted here but i want it to be bubbling a little bit also Just, the butter is not not like completely yep yeah. So we're going to want to put it back in for a little bit so that we get it a little bit bubbly because we do kind of want that caramel, that caramel style, right? So I love making puff wheat in the stack cooker because I don't need to stand over a stove mixing it 
for seven to 10 minutes, right? Well, maybe not that much, but you understand what I mean. So let's put this in for another, let's say 45 seconds because it looked pretty good. Um, the other piece of the stock cooker is the colander, you guys. So I would use the three quart um, and put the colander inside. And I love cooking bacon in here. You layer up your bacon, then you put the cover on. I like to put it kind of like this so that you see there's a, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little opening right here to let some of the steam escape so that my bacon gets crispy. Yes, crispy in the microwave, you guys. Mom? So we love cooking bacon in here with the colander. You can only do also do ground beef. Put your ground beef in the colander. Make sure you have the base underneath. And then cook it five minutes at a time. Break it up into chunks, five minutes at a time. Break it up into chunks. And then it's ready to go and all the drippings drip into the three-quart base. And it's super easy to take a spatula once it's kind of, you know, hardened a little bit and discard it. It's such easy cleanup and goes in the dishwasher. Like, I have I a love question. Okay. The stack yes. cooker. That's perfect, you guys. We have a little bit of bubbling going on. So this is what we want. Okay, Samara, we got to add the vanilla. So we're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla for flavor. We love the flavor of vanilla. Hold on, buddy. Let me see what I can do to help you here. Okay, so that's uno. 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 Dos. Dos. <laughs> uno, dos. Okay, now we need the puff wheat. Okay. So I've got already five cups of puff wheat here. We're going to need a little bit more. This is actually the measuring cup that comes with your whip and mix chef. So if you've seen the whip and mix, awesome for whipping cream in like 45 seconds. It's amazing. And we're going to add five cups. And then let's grab our bag. We might need it. We even have enough to double our recipe, don't we? And then I'm going to add another three cups or so maybe a little bit more why not hey oh we got puff wheat flying all over the place all right some red let's mix it all up no, some red has been asking and asking all day mom when are we gonna make those puff wheats we're at home sick well i'm always home lately but um a couple of our boys are homesick not homesick but you mean you, you know what i mean they're home and sick. Yeah, we just can't seem to get rid of this cold. It's one person, then a couple days later it's someone else, and it kind of has been just going around in our house and not leaving. I love how easy it is to mix up the puff wheat in here. Nothing is sticking. And now I'm going to be able to easily, let's get rid of this stuff, to take my snap and store large so I place it right in here because I can easily store it I have a seal for it so it stays nice and fresh all week or probably the next 24 hours let's be real right it's puff wheat this isn't gonna last in our house isn't it yeah. I want this <laughs> okay, hold on a second but I love love this spatula as well you guys and you can actually get this spatula for also, almost seven dollars right now that's a little like not hard with that thing. You, you can cut something that's not really hard. That's not yeah. like it's super squishy and you can cut it. Super squishy and you can cut it? Yeah, like you can you could use it as some sort of what like a little cutting knife, I guess. Yeah, why also, not? It's like the spatula. There's not My little Tupperware dude. Ay, ay, ay. There's oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. The silicone spatula, yeah, it comes apart. This one doesn't, but the silicone, if you ever get, um, if you ever see these on sale, we love these because you can yeah, use them because to cut up the puff wheat, right? To cut up the puff wheat. Yeah. yeah. Without damaging your metal pans, or in our case, our Ultra uh -huh. Pro that we use. Um, I'm just going to try to, I like to flatten it down really good because we like when it's nice and stuck together. What do you guys add to your puff wheats? 
I'd really love to know what's your secret recipe because sometimes mine do well sometimes they don't maybe I don't boil it enough maybe I boil it too much and it gets hard I don't know I like a moist puff wheat right what type of puff wheat do you guys like anyway enough jabbering so that's it they're all ready to go I'm just gonna kind I'm not gonna seal it up right away because it's still warm but we're gonna leave it aside for the next couple hours and it's going to be a delicious treat um, after our supper we still need to think about what we're making for supper we need your ideas what can we make for supper maybe we could use our staff cooker right <laughs> all right guys hope you enjoyed it um, I'm hoping that you guys are, are healthy wherever you are and um, yeah let me know if I can help you with anything. We're in Canada. Okay, so I'm good. <laughs> okay, bye guys.